Hello, I am back on trail after a zero day. Feels amazing to have freshly washed hair. I'm reveling in the fact that I can actually keep it down instead of it being all greasy. Um, so, development. I still have stand the stick. Um, I did not get poles because it turns out you can't have Amazon um, deliver something to a post office. They won't accept it. So it got rejected. So I don't have poles. So I have this pole and I also found this free, previously broken trekking pole. It's clearly been broken before because I used duct tape, but it seems pretty solid right now. So um, I'm not taking any chances with it. I'm hiking just with this for today. And then I'm gonna bring out the other one for Forrester where I need it for snow. So hopefully it's not gonna break and I'll have two for Forrester, which is really where I need it. Um, so today will be more work, but better safe than sorry. So I just from, came from Kearsage Pass up there um, and I am filtering water right now. Um, and yeah, here's the view of the lakes. Probably have another seven miles to go to get today. Am I far enough off trail enough for you? What's that? Am I far enough off trail for your no, horses? Fine. No problem, yeah. All right. How are you doing? Good. Good. Yeah, you're fine. No problem. Perfect. I always worry about meeting somebody right there on that cliff. It's a place to move around. <laughs> yeah. So I've made it to the spot where Kearsage Pass and JMT meet again. Look, something's wrong here. It's in the lake. Lunchtime. Best lunch ever. Anyways, I'm dragging today. All that resupply food is making me so slow and my back hurts. I only have about five more miles to go tonight. Woo! And there's a baby looking bear. And I hope mom's not around. I sure hope that's a juvenile. That's just left mom. Woo! Campsite. Beautiful river past these trees. And reunited with friends. Hooray! No more sleeping alone and having deers attack me. Good morning. It is seven. Forester pass today. Last big pass. And I almost literally got the crap scared out of me by a deer because I was literally just squatting down to do my business when I see a big brown blur in my periphery and it was terrifying until I realized it was a deer. Deer really need to respect my privacy a little bit more. Somewhere up there is Forrester Pass. No idea which one. Hopefully a lower one. Probably not. So clearly I was completely wrong. I was looking for Forester Pass over here. But now we're headed over here. Clearly I have no clue where we're going. I just have this trail to follow. Made it pretty far. But still have a long way to go. Okay. Just brought my broken pole out. Hopefully it lasts me over all of Forrester. I'm starting to hit snow patches, so I need it. A view. Just be down there once. Gotta keep going. Okay, this is it. Got about four snow fields to cross. And then over there by that little dip, that's Forrester Pass. Almost there, just gotta not die on these snow slopes. Well, the snow is ideal, which is great. Perfectly crunchy without being slippery. No cr crampons or micro spikes yet. Made it to the top. Wow, Forrester was hard. The snow was not the hard part. The rock field was insanely challenging, like real rock climbing sometimes. Now it's back down. Wow, this side is just steep, 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 steep all the way down. I'm really glad I'm going down instead of up it. Also, this is the snowshoot I was super freaked out about. 
It's no longer there. Okay, looks like the hard part of Forester's over. Now just four more miles until I reach camp. The good news is my pole survived, so now I get to just keep using it and maybe it lasts all the way to Whitney and maybe it doesn't, but from now on I don't really need two poles to be safe. So yeah, did it. Um, definitely challenging, especially the rock scrambling part, which I did not get video of, but was really, really, really hard. This high elevation terrain is pretty crazy. There are like no plants just every once in a while. It's like a desert except for with water everywhere. By the way, look, here is a marmot. Hi, marmot. Only a mile to go. Finally hitting the trees. After days of rain, not a cloud in the sky.